Hello again, and welcome to this lesson for Black Knight by Deep Purple. Even if you don't end up learning this entire song, there's some really fun stuff using triplets right the way throughout. So make sure you stick around and check out the split triplets between the hands and the feet, because it's definitely fun. But to start off with, we've just got triplets and they're moving down the kit just like this. Then we are straight into a riff section, which has two bars of drum beat and then two bars of the first of those tricky triplet fills. So that fill is just triplets, but we're splitting it into groups of two. One on the hands, one on the feet, one on the hands, one on the feet. So it's an unusual sound and if you're not used to it, it will take a little bit of getting used to, but the more you listen to this song, I think eventually it will sink in and it'll really help you to pick out this rhythm. I'll play that particular fill one more time, slowly. The next four bars, we're still in a riff section and it's very similar on the drums, but instead of playing the crash on beat one of the fill, we're playing on beat three, just like this. I'll play that whole intro section from the beginning. From there, the lyrics come in and we're into the first verse section. I think the drums scale back a little bit from what I can hear, but once again, if you're hearing more snare drums, more hi-hats, you could play that double-handed shuffle pattern right throughout the song. Halfway through this section, there's a quarter note triplet fill that follows along really closely with the music, and then we've got an eighth note triplet fill on the snare drum, just like this. And then the next four bars round out this section, there's a stop in beat three and a pick up in the last bar, which is gonna take us into the next riff section. I'll go back and put that whole verse section back together. That takes us into the next riff section, which once again is two bars of beat and two bars of fill. This time though, the triplet fill, when the snare drum comes in, it comes in on beat two instead of on beat one. So it's gonna make the whole thing sound a little bit different. Let me play it slowly so you can hear how it's gonna sound. And the second fill this time is very similar to the one from the beginning, but in the second bar, we're just gonna orchestrate it around the kit a little bit differently.
That takes us into verse 2, which is the same as the first verse, but when the quarter note triplet rhythm comes in, we're playing something a little bit different on the drums, like this. And the next four bars lead us into the first solo, and they're just a tiny bit different as well. That takes us into the solo section, and first up is guitar. We're over on the ride cymbal, but keeping that left-handed shuffle going, I'll just play the last couple of bars of the guitar solo, because there's a fill at the end that's definitely worth checking out. And then there's just two bars of riff before we go into the organ solo. For the organ solo, we'll move the right hand back over to the hi-hats, and now maybe I can hear a shuffled pattern on the hi-hats as well. I'll do the same thing as I just did with the guitar solo and just play the last four bars of the organ solo. That takes us into the last riff section, which means we're looking at the last two great fills in the song. The first one is some flams moved around the kit, and we're going to split those flams up pretty far apart so they actually become more like 16th notes, like this. And then for the last one, instead of using triplets, we're using 16th notes and we're going to double stop. So we're going to play first tom and snare drum and then move that right hand down to the second tom and then back onto the snare drum again. I'll play it really slowly so you can see what's going on. So that will be tricky to coordinate if you haven't done it before. It's really great to just practice going right hand, right foot, right hand, right foot, right hand, right foot. That's an excellent exercise that you can do every day until you get really used to it. And then it shouldn't be too hard to add those double stops so that you can play the triplets and the 16th notes. From there, we're doing stuff that we've mostly done already, but I'll just go from where the quarter note triplet rhythm comes in one more time because the fills are just a tiny bit different again. From there, it's just back into the groove and it solos until the song fades out. So there we go, that's the drum part to Black Knight by Deep Purple. As I said at the beginning, those split triplets are really great to learn and great to add to your own playing, even if they take a little bit of time to get used to and to hear properly. But with a bit of practice, you'll have it up and running in no time. So have fun practicing and I'll see you at the next lesson.